Hey everybody, this is an African Russian. Today we are just gonna be reacting to one of the video from Defense Asia. Defense Asia Poli yeah, Defense Politics Asia. Let's go with our seat time. This is a quick update over here at the Bakhmut front. And uh this area here, this is Bakhmut City, currently uh, held by the Ukrainian forces. And the development here uh you probably will have known uh if you have been following uh, Defense Politics Asia is that the Russian forces has been uh pushing over here in the southeastern part of the Bakhmut city there, there are also fighting reported at Ivanhrad at Opaine and uh, there is also the push towards uh, Klishivka uh, in this direction here and further up north in the Soleda region this is Bakhmutske this area is Soleda uh, the Russian forces is pushing Soleda as well as the Bakhmutske over here so the what is significant or you probably would have seen uh, from this map is that this area is largely very quiet uh, for most cases and a few days ago uh, there is uh, intel showing that the russian forces has been spotted 3.5 kilometers uh, northeast of Bakhmut city and this force over here has been now uh, declared to be fighting over here at Pithorodne this year at Bihorotne, uh, this small town over on the northern outskirts of Bakhmut city. And this this is significant because previously uh, previously we do have a uh, fighting uh, reported here at Bilohora long, 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 long time ago. Uh, I can't even know, can't, can't even remember when was the last time uh, there was fighting here. It was mentioned once and Bihorotne as well, there was a mention of fighting over here once or twice. And significantly now is that there is fighting here again. The Russian forces is currently also holding uh, over here along this line uh, just on the outskirts of the eastern outskirts of Bakhmut city where the Ukrainians previously had uh, pushed uh, the Russians uh, slightly uh, eastward a little bit just a little bit the, the Ukrainians did not manage to push the Russian forces all the way out as per you know the pro-Ukrainian sources like to say uh, there is no evidence saying, uh, showing that that is the case. Uh, however, this is uh, this move here in the north is significant because this might actually shows uh, the possibility where the Russians are actually planning to bypass Bakhmut city entirely. They are, that means they, they do not want to go through in the center. They are planning to go around. Wow. And which is why this is significant because the Russian forces, the Wagner private military, con military contractors, the ones that are fighting around this region had already been pushing this direction for some time and uh, every inch has been uh, proving to be really difficult as the Ukrainian forces uh, continue to uh, prevent the Russian forces from uh, taking any ground uh, in Bakhmut city as this is one of the most oops, wrong, wrong button this is the most one of the most important city currently in the battlefront. Yeah, because that destroys uh, the logistical. This, this is a major supply hub. Uh, previously, yeah, exactly, for the front. exactly. And now with this city, uh, it links to a lot of different directions, uh, to the all the rest of the fronts. And should the Russians able to capture this, they will be able to fan out in multiple directions. Yeah, yeah, so that's right. The the Ukrainians have, uh, con continuously, uh. Push force, uh, pushing a reinforcement into the city, and uh, to to you know hold the city as long as they can, and especially even uh, at Opaine, even Rat, even Rat, uh, the Rush, the Ukrainian forces have continuously pushing forces, uh, and reinforcement from uh, even Klishivka region, you know pushing towards, and reinforcing to prevent the Russians to even capture the southern part of the Bakhmut city so but this is this development on the fight on, on this north northeast or northern part of Bakhmut uh, I think is very significant and if you are pro-Ukrainian I think you should uh, really watch uh, the development over here because if the Russians continue to push this way up uh, they will cut off the entire uh, connection between the uh, Bakhmut front and the Sivas front where there is a connection currently you know going through no up north and uh and also you know the the situation here and 
Soledad might be threatened with the Russian you know, uh, pushing uh, northward to encircle the forces over here at Soledad region. So, which is why um, this move here, you know, this action here where usually there's actually nothing happening over here, there's never reports about fighting around here. Uh, when fighting flares up, uh, it's something to take note of. Uh, because the southern part, we already know the Russians have been uh, trying very hard to fight in this location for some time already. So it's not particularly surprising. And even you know, in the southeast part, uh, over here near the Bakhmut Oxford plant, uh, they, the Russians have been trying really hard and uh, they did not have a lot of progress. Uh, the, the furthest they, they are known to go is probably around here only. This is probably the furthest they go now at this moment. Uh, I did not update the map because I'm still looking for evidence uh, to show that they are actually here. But based on rumors, this seems to be the case. But it's still, you know, very far away from saying you, you want to, uh, from saying capturing of the entire of this city. So this is just something you know I thought is very interesting that I thought you sh you should you guys uh, should take out uh, uh, should look out for. And uh, this is the Bakhmut city. And uh, please subscribe to this channel, the DPA War channel. Uh, this video will also be uh, reposted over at the main channel at Defense Politics Asia uh, because uh, the DPA War channel is still not monetized yet uh, because I need to get revenue. And also, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, on the main channel have not subscribed to the DPA War channel. So this is why no, I'm doing this. And, uh, but I need to grow the DPA war channel because all the war reporting in the future will be reported here at the DPA war channel. So if you are now watching on the Defense Politics Asia channel and you have not seen this on the DPA war channel, it's a good chance now for you to go to the description below to click on the link and uh, to support uh, the DPA war channel because in the future you might miss all these war updates. Okay. And I'll see you in the next update. Yeah, that's really cool. And to be honest with you, I really hope you guys enjoyed. It's very knowledgeable. Have a blessed day. Bye.